Hello folks, and welcome to the Days After Christmas. Now, this is Navarsai, and this... I'm Navarsai. This is a game. This is this thing over here is a game. Navarsai. Game Navar... Okay. I think you guys got that covered now. This is a game apparently about you going to a Halloween part Or Halloween... A Christmas party, or a day after Christmas party. And it's a text point and click game so we got our trusty little candy cane cursor here it was a dark and snowy night you just left work and you're on your way to the week late christmas party your co-workers invited you to because of the weather you decided to walk instead of drive to the party so this game is supposed to have horror elements of horror in it even though it's not actually a horror it doesn't have jump scares from my understanding so this is the house, but there are no other cars here. Maybe everyone else walked here too. Alright, so there's the front door. Is that all I got? Okay, well, to the front door then. Uh, I guess I'll just go inside. Oh man, that music. It doesn't sound like anyone else is in here. I'm already in here. I should try to find my present and leave. All right, well, I just picked up a candy cane. Whoa! No, the, the door's locked by three padlocks. All right, well, didn't want to do that anyways, so... All right, so that's basement. Ooh, living room. Take a flashlight. But there aren't any batteries in it. Oh my god, that was sinister. going on? Ah! Okay, there we go. Oh, man, an old closet. It's mildly unsettling. Oh, okay, I guess I'm in the kitchen. Doesn't seem to be receiving any power. Kitchen seek, although it seems to be missing a faucet. Anything? Anything? No? How about the fridge? It's an ad for a band called Grand Silence. Fridge is covered in various family photos. Okay. Don't think there's really anything Okay, let's check out the laundry room. Whoa. What does that say? A sewing bee. A scenic County mobile home sales. Alright, I'm assuming that'll that'll become important at some point. I probably just don't have the information required for it yet. The washer doesn't seem to be working. Yes, well, the choir of hell seems to be doing just fine door with a missing doorknob, okay? We can't go into the basement, so... Holy crap, man! What if I... How do I get to my inventory? It's too dark to see in here. Oh, dear. Holy crap, man. This might not be a horror game, guys, but this... This has got some atmosphere to it. Oh, what was that? Take out the trash. Lunch at Stewart Sharp's house next door on Monday. Okay, so nothing in here. It's locked. Oh, I just went back downstairs. Outside. Uh, hmm. There's gotta be a way to access like a menu or something, because I picked up I picked up two things. I've gotten the flashlight and the candy cane. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Ignore that. Ignore me. Don't ignore me, please. I love you all. I need you this holiday season. No batteries in here right now. That's got a door with a missing doorknob. Does us absolutely no good. See, like, I'm 
feeling like we need the candy cane. God, stop with that. Just trying random buttons at this point. Nothing's working. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured it out. I know now how to access my inventory. You would still need a way to get up. Uh, no, you're supposed to pull it down. Huh. All right, well, the bedroom's locked. This is too dark to see, but I still have no batteries. Sink. Back. Can't just break that doorknob and take it. Oh, hey, a toilet. Um, I will combine the key. It'll just get wet. I don't see anything else to do. Man, am I already stuck? Because this one's too dark to go in, and I don't have a flashlight. A working flashlight yet. This is going. This is off to a... Very troubled start, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, there's a garage. What? Magnet, I'll take that. Unorganized shelves, it's difficult to tell what's usable. Okay, I don't even know what I just picked up there. this way now. Okay. Lob some broom and slide the wall. It's locked. Okay. Okay, so I've got a plank of wood, a magnet, and I don't even know what else. Plank of wood, screwdriver, and a magnet. Okay. So maybe I can use the screwdriver to open the door without a doorknob. The door's still locked. Was it this one down here that opened the door? I thought it was that one up there. You guys aren't trying to trick me, are you? Ah, this was the one without the doorknob. Okay. The screwdriver won't open the door, huh? What about a magnet? Damn. the plank on that? I would still need a way to get up. No, you're supposed to use whatever to pull it down. Whoa, what? Magnet on a stick? Okay, what? Do I use it on the sink? Do I plunge it down? I got a rusty key, okay. That was just a random guess. Does this key unlock this door? No, okay. All right, that one's just missing a doorknob. So the only thing I could think of is that this might unlock one of the basement padlocks, but. Oh wait, what if it unlocks? padlock outside. Aha, there we go. Okay, so now we're in the backyard. Oh my god, this looks like Slender Man territory if I've ever seen it. It's too high to reach. Well, thankfully I've got my handy dandy candy caney. Yeah! I knew candy cane wouldn't let me down. Swings. Shed. Um, does this key happen to unlock this padlock? No? Are you sure? Let's try it one more time. Alright. Well, that was a bunch of malarkey. Stool. <laughs> so I just took an entire stool for reasons, I'm sure. 
to get up to the one thing and yeah 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 yada yeah, yada yada yeah, yeah, blah 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 I get it I know what I'm doing all right let's go all the way back all the way inside I am going through hell for this Christmas present man like I'm not I am not entirely certain that this Christmas present is even going to be worth it okay so what do we got here you found the doorknob cool Dusty clothes. It's a dark hall dresser. I wonder how they got it up here. Oh, hey. Wasn't done yet. Pile of dirty clothes. Alright, well now let's go find the door without a doorknob. Wow, the creepy version of Jingle Bells continues playing in the background. Obviously, don't know how to play the piano. Oh wait, what? No, no, you just you just showed me something. No, no. Ah, there it is. Okay. So, O R I I B P. Is that like orange red? But what do these mean? What does it all mean? Computer enhance. I don't have an orange, so... o'clock then BP at nine o'clock what are you laughing at how to conquer your friends in eight simple steps what I forgot I hadn't gotten in there yet okay there we go toy car can I get the batteries out of it see the darn thing I was just clicking around trying to find anything and I picked up a basement key so yay yeah that's the, the piano puzzle oh wait a minute oh my god this is so simple toy car screwdriver you got a couple of batteries I'm a flippin dingus I am a great big dingus do the biggest dingus that ever do a doo doo. Okay. There we go. Got this. Oh, that's. Okay. Found the basement key. Not sure that I want to go down there. But, okay, so we have this phone here. And there's the phone book. So I'm thinking. So, Steward Sharp. If we go down to the laundry room there's the phone book I'm gonna see it see here there's of all of this all right so six seven three four five six nine I 
I can hear a phone ringing nearby. That bodes ill. So apparently Mr. Sharp might be in the house with me. Still too blurry to see through. All right, Mr. Sharp, I heard your phone ringing. Might as well come out. We can all have some eggnog and laugh over this terrifying experience later. All right, well, I've got two basement keys. So let's... Oh, that turned sinister quickly. I've got a shovel. Is that... I came... Oh. Oh, okay. So it was, what, like... 2 o'clock. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I see. That's what... Okay. Okay. Um, I can't remember all this, so I'm going to come back. All right. So the output needs to be at two o'clock the input at three and the other one at nine I think Oops. output rate did anything. Hmm. Alright, well let's go outside because I think now I can go dig up little Timmy's treasure here. Still got a little screwed up. You found a lens buried in the sandbox. It's dirty. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've got the lens for the telescope. But now I need to rinse the telescope lens off. Which means I'm going to have to go upstairs to the bathroom and maybe just dunk it in the toilet. Who knows? All right, dirty lens in the sink. No running water. All right, well, dunk it in the toilet. No, <laughs> that's not an option, huh? Okay, fine still have my shovel so well, oh whoa I didn't even know this was a thing I found bolt cutters what do I need bolt cutters for oh the padlock to the shed maybe damn my random numbers did not help So apparently there's another way to go over there. I'm going to go to the shed now and see if the bolt cutters will allow me to gain access into that. All right, broke off the padlock. Now I've got the knob. Now we can go back down to the basement. Not for much longer. Shazam. Okay. So this one needs to be at there, this one needs to be there, and this one needs to be there. Yes? There we go, okay. I figured it would give me some kind of indication. Alright, we'll go up to the bathroom because the kitchen sink doesn't have a faucet. Wash this sucker off. Lens is clean. Combine lens with telescope. 8068. Well, thank you, neighbor, for putting this combination to my save in your window. 8068. 8068. Day after Christmas. Really great. We love this stuff. All right. 8068. The present. It's... Team of only two people between the two of us, that includes. Oh, 
um yes thank you for the game but i kind of feel like i was cheated here just a little bit where was my present and what was what was with the cell phone thing is are is there multiple endings to this i'm like or was the the whole cell phone ringing thing just or wait maybe you know what? i bet you if i would have checked after i had called his phone on the cell phone the that's when the lights would have turned on i bet you that's what it is i bet you that's how the lights turn on in the neighboring house so when you look through the telescope then you can see the code i bet you if i had done it beforehand i would have just looked at the house so that's probably the case well anyways good job michael and jason that for not being a horror game that was legitimately creepy i mean first of all you're stalking around a co-worker's house no one is there so you know it's almost alien territory at this point and um you know there are there are some moral questions there about why you're stalking through someone else's house but we're just going to ignore that because gameplay but man that that sound like because it looks like they just got all their sound work from uh freesound org or maybe just the music but if that is i want to look on freesound org for that creepy rendition of jingle bells because oh man did that Whew. so anyways thank you so much everyone for watching i do hope you enjoyed this if you did please hit that thumbs up button and uh hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, i will see you next time Bye bye <laughs>